Okay, so more in my YA bookshelf tour. We have The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff, and I was halfway through, yep, halfway through it. And it was enjoyable, and don't ask me why I finished. That is pretty much the tale for every book on the shelf, but I do want to keep going because its sequel is either soon to be released or has been released. And it was kind of cool. It was interesting. Meridian by Amber Kaiser. Jekyll Loves Hyde by Beth Fantasky. The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting. Um, the Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa. Someone Has My Iron King and My Iron... Uh, Queen, and I do not have the Iron Prince or whatever that one is yet. Um, I've yet to read the Iron Queen, so yeah, got to catch up. Beautiful Darkness, Someone Has My Beautiful Creatures, don't know who, and I have yet to read Beautiful Darkness, and I know that the third one is, is it released very soon? I think so. Guardian of the Gate and, Sis and Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. The Book of Spells by Kate Bryan. Woo. Chime by Franny B Billingsley. Need Captivate and Entice, all by Carrie Jones. Um, Bones of Fairy and Fairy Winter by Jenny Lee Simmer. Um, the Modern, Fa Modern Fairy uh, series, so Tithe, Valiant and Ironside by Holly Black. Supernaturally and Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. Glimmerglass by Jenna Black. Started this so many times, but I want to get the... I want to finish it and then get the sequel, which is Shadow Spell. Lament and Ballad by Maggie Stevada. Uh, Impossible by Nancy Whalen. Brightly Woven by Alexandra Bracken. Eyes Like Stars and Perchance to Dream by Lisa Manchev. And I've got still to read Perchance to Dream so I can get so silver bright. Wonder Strange and Dark Light by Leslie Livingston. And I have not yet got my hands on um, Tempestuous, which is the final in that series. And I want to get it, but it's quite expensive because it's still only in hardback. And the, the Wicked Lovely series. Someone has my Wicked Lovely. So I've only got Ink Exchange, Fragile Eternity, Radiant Shadows, and Darkest Mercy. So that's that one. That's all my paranormal uh, YA thus far. I think I've got it all covered, so we're going to go down this shelf to my contemporary YA stuff. Let's see what we have here. We've got, woo, Lily Wilkinson's Pink. Very good book. I enjoyed it lots. Lola and the Boy Next Door and Anna and the French Kiss, by, both by Stephanie Perkins. Blood Red Road by Maury Young. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. Going Bovine by Libba Bray. Someone Has My Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Um... De the Dead I Know by Scott Gardner. Woo. Jenna and Jonas Fomance by Emily Franklin and Brendan Halpin. Thyla by Kate Gordon. Shadow Girl, The Shadow Girl rather, by John Larkin. Fallen Grace by Mary Hooper. The Opposite of Amber um, by Gillian, Gillian Phillip rather. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz. A Pocket Full of Eyes by Lily Wilkinson. High Society by Ali Carter. One day we'll read this and I'm sure I'll enjoy it lots and I'll get Uncommon Criminals, which is the sequel. Liar by Justin La Justine Labelestia. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Um, Tarzan and the... I don't know why that's still there because I'm giving that one away because this is a random thing sent to me. Oh yeah. Um, Uncle Mort Mort Montague's Tales of Terror by Chris Priestley. I think I'll have to give that one away too. I don't do well with horror. The Card Turner by Louis Sa Sa Sacha. Sorry. A Straight Line to My Heart by Bill Condon. Jesse Loves New York City by Kara Stanton. Amy and Roger's Epic Deep Tour by Morgan Matson. Black Painted Fingernails by Stephen Herrick. Flawless by Laura Chaplin. Chapman. Chapman. I'm moving you. John Marsden books will come back to you later. Scooch over. Looking for Alabrandi by Marlena Marchetta. First book by her I ever read and I recommend it to all who waxed lyrical about Jellica Road. Bright Young Things by Anna Godberson. Beautiful Malice by Rebecca James. Go in. Go in! The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks by E. Lockhart. And I've not yet read it. This is my friend's book. She lent it to me, but she said it's very good. 
13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. Hold Still by Nina LaCour. An Abundance of Catherine. Someone has my looking for... Oh, no, no, I'm lying. My looking for Alaska is over there. My Abundance of Catherine by John Green. And On the Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. This is the Australian title. On the... On the... That's right. And then here we have... Woo! The Peacock Spring by Ruma Gooden. Godden. I recommend this book. It's odd, but an interesting coming-of-age story. Feeling Sorry for Celia by Jacqueline Moriarty. My Summer of Love by Helen Cross. Not actually a YA novel, um, but probably an adult read, but it concerns teenagers, so I'm letting it sit here. Chain of Hearts by Maureen McCarthy. John Marsden Stuff. Checkers by John Marsden. Very good book. Take My Word For It by John Marsden. Letters From The Inside by John Marsden. Also very good. So Much To Tell You by John Marsden. And Chrysalis and uh, um, blah, 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 Thunder Width, both by Libby Haythorn, also very good. Australian, YA, and then there's My Looking for Alaska by John Green. So yeah, I'll come back to you with more books if you want them.